I'm treating this one patient who's bipolar, manic depressive, and she's been on lithium and another medication for about 10 years. Um, and those keep the depression under control. And what I'm doing is I'm treating her for other things, using homeopathy to get help her with her diet, help to motivate her to exercise, and helping her at work to assert herself more and to try to get some professional advancement into her life. Because the medications aren't helping with that, they're just keeping the depression under control, yet she's still not happy. So we're, the homeopathy in her case is working more on motivating her life to make the kind of changes that she needs to become a happy, fulfilled person. Okay, great. Um, okay. Okay. The more severe the case of depression, or if someone is bipolar, the more likely that they're going to need to be on medic Western medications rather than homeopathy. Um, and the longer they've already been on Western medications, the harder it is to treat using homeopathy. But if I get someone who's newly diagnosed bipolar who hasn't yet been on medications, then I could treat very successfully using homeopathy um, so long as they weren't suicidal. In, if they're suicidal, then I'd want them to be on medications immediately. I wouldn't want to start treating home homeopathically. So would you say that it's if someone has a relatively mild case of depression and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For mild cases of depression... Hold on, case start over. Just has to give it a little time. Okay. For mild cases of depression, where there's just been a low level of depression, even for years, whether it's short term or years, that's the best case scenario for homeopathics. Home homeopathy and Chinese herbs and nutritional approach would work, would work excellent with that sort of thing. Where someone has dealt with their depression themselves and not been on any medications, but they suddenly decide, hey, I, want, I don't want this anymore. That's the best case scenario for homeopathy or herbs and nutrition. As soon as they've been on medication at all, then it becomes harder, because then their brain chemistry has been changed. So it becomes harder biophysically? Has there been altered? It, yeah, as soon as someone's been on other Western medications, it becomes harder to treat using homeopathic approach, because their whole symptom picture has been altered. And what we need is, we need to know who and where, who the person is and where they've come from that we're treating to pick the right homeopathic remedy. When their symptom picture has been altered in any way, by any means, and Western drugs do that the most effectively, um, also recreational drugs do that really effectively, grass and any of the recreational drugs will change the symptom picture too, even coffee. Any drug at all that's been used will change the symptom picture so it's harder to treat homeopathically. But if someone has had the low-level depression and not been on medications and just decides they want to get out of it finally, they respond really well to homeopathy and very quickly. Okay. Um, if there's, is there anything that you want to add? No? Nothing I can think of. Okay. You're pretty 